Hey everyone, Jill Hope here. How are you doing today? I wanted to come here and talk to you for a minute about tolerations. Now, you may remember that about a week ago I posted about this and there was a little bit of feedback but not a lot. And I we need to talk about this because I want you to think about something for a minute. And you know, just look at the title of this video. The quality of your life is inversely proportional to what you tolerate. And that's so true. So I really want you to think about, just stop for a minute, just stop for a moment, take a deep breath and ask yourself, what am I tolerating right now in my life? Am I tolerating disrespect from your kids? Are you tolerating um, bad behavior from a partner? Are you tolerating a messy, disorganized house? Are you tolerating feeling stressed out and overwhelmed every day? Are you tolerating being exhausted? Are you tolerating never being able to do what you want to do? These are all tolerations and they don't make our lives happy. They don't fulfill us when we put up with a bunch of crap, uh, quite frankly, that we don't want and that we don't like. So I want you to think about what if you were able to shift a couple of the big things that you are tolerating right now? What would your life be like in that situation? What would that change for you? What if you didn't feel stressed out every day? Feel into that for a minute. What would that be like for you to not be stressed? What would it be like for you to not feel overwhelmed day in and day out? What would it be like for you to, um, to be treated well by the people that you surround yourself with all the time? To not accept um, bad behavior, to not accept uh, people um, wanting you to do everything for them and just you know blindly doing it, right? What would that be like for you? The other thing I want you to think about is that these things don't like like we can we can sit there and get upset and just sort of go with it and that that's the whole point of a toleration right we know we don't like it but we put up with it we deal with it we tolerate it because it seems like too much work to um to raise our standards to to expect anything different or maybe we don't actually respect ourselves enough or maybe we don't have the confidence or even the, the courage to speak up or to make that change, right? So we decide it's okay to, to live in our, to, you know, to get comfortable in our discomfort, basically. And I'm here to suggest to you that there is a different way to live. You know, I, I know I've talked about this many times that in my early days as a mom, I was tolerating a whole lot of unhappiness. I was tolerating a ton of stress. I was tolerating um, having a life that was not my own at all. I had zero, zero, zero time for me. Sure, I went out and I did a few things, but honestly, it, it, it didn't fulfill me because the minute I came back in the house, I was back into the environment that I was tolerating of stress, overwhelm, unhappiness, um, and, and giving myself no care and no love. So when you think about what you're tolerating, here's what you need to realize. And this is, this is the hard and ugly truth, okay? But I really want you to wake up to this right now, is that nothing will change if you don't change it. Nothing will change, if, and by, by change it, I mean change your standards. Change what you will allow. Why is it that we will allow so much bad in our life, so much negativity. So why do we allow the stress? Why do we allow the overwhelm? But then we don't allow the good. Does, I mean, is there more bad than good? Absolutely not. There's as much good waiting to flow into your life that you are willing to allow. What, what if you changed the balance of what you are willing to allow in your life? You have the power to do that. Nobody else does. I mean, I can't, you know, this is an old um, coaching saying, but um, what it is is that I can't want it for you more than you want it for yourself. Why? 
because I can't make the change for you. You have got to do it yourself. You've got to want it bad enough that you're willing to change those standards. So look around your life. Decide what you're putting up with. Figure out, ask yourself, how does this make me feel? How do I feel about myself that I'm putting up with this every day? And make a decision that you're going to change something. And it, and it literally cannot happen without a decision, okay? Now, there is another choice. So let me give you the other choice you have. You have two choices. Well, actually, you have three choices. Choice number one is you're tolerating stuff in your life that doesn't make you happy and you do nothing, okay? That's, that's over here, that's choice one. Choice number two is you become aware of what you're tolerating. So you become aware of what you're tolerating, choice number two, and you decide that you're not gonna put up with that anymore. You change your standard and you start to expect something different. And choice number three, which I haven't even talked about yet, is that you find it within yourself to come to peace and acceptance around whatever it is you're tolerating. And that is a valid choice, okay? You can actually get yourself to a place where you can find what you're tolerating and um, be at peace with it. The problem with choice number three is that, it, and I'm not, there is a lot to say for being able to live in such a way that you can be at peace no matter what's going on. And that's a good thing and actually I do strive to, to be that way in my life. However, I, we have so much power and, and this, is, this is what we're not seeing and what we're not living into. You are such a powerful being. You actually have the power to raise your standards. You have the power to expect more life. And the only thing holding you back from receiving all of that goodness is you exercising your power by making a different choice, okay? So I think I've hammered this home enough. What I want you to do, this is your challenge, this is your opportunity this week, is I want you, after this video, turn it off, take a few deep breaths, grab a notebook and a pen, and I want you to ask yourself a few questions. Okay, the questions are, I'm just gonna find my little notes here, is uh, ask yourself what you're tolerating, write it down. Okay, what am I tolerating in my life right now? You might actually be surprised when you ask that question, some of the answers that come up. Write everything down, don't judge it, don't censor it. So what am I tolerating? Number two is who would I be if I no longer tolerated these things? Who would I be if I no longer tolerated these things? Question number three is what would my standards be? If I no longer tolerated these things, what would my standards be? What, would I, what standards must I be upholding for my reality to be different than it is right now? How would I think? How would I show up in the world? What would I do that I'm not doing now? If I no longer tolerated these things, what would I be doing? How much bigger would my life be? How, how much more might I be impacting other people in a really positive way if I didn't feel stressed out all the time? If I wasn't exhausted day in and day out? How would I show up differently and how would I give to the world? So seriously think about this. Make this a journaling session. Spend 15 minutes reflecting on these questions. And I wanna hear from you. If you do this, and I sure hope you do, let me know what you found out, what you learned about yourself. And if you are really done with the tolerations and you want to make a shift, I am happy to talk to you. I'm opening up a program called Life Purpose Prosperity Plan and uh, I'm talking to people who are interested in really taking that next step in a big way and they're looking for support and they're looking for guidance to make these changes, to raise their standards and to discover their purpose because in your purpose, you actually access a whole different set of standards and rules and beliefs for your life. It comes from the inside out 
and I'm excited to guide people to go on that journey, to reveal what is already inside that is the plan for your life. So if that's something that's interesting to you, if you want support with that, feel free to reach out. There's two ways to do so. You can either uh, reach out to me via email at jill at ishinekids.com or send me a PM and I'll send you all the details so you can decide if this is something that's right for you. So go out there, reflect on the tolerations, um, look at what you're doing. It, it isn't until we ask these powerful questions that we see some of these open up for us. Um, and I want that for you. So let me know what you learn. And um, I am excited to be back again. So until next time, take care. Much love to you. Bye-bye.